Well, hello, 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 beautiful people, and welcome back to another wonderful day here at Ark Survival. Um, George and I, that's George, he's my Mesopithecus, uh, we are up at the lake house today, up at Hidden Lake, and we're just sitting around chilling, just taking a break, and I got to thinking that hat on his head is kind of dull. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make up some colored dye, and we're going to dye his hat and my armor and stuff and just mess around here a wee little bit. Okay, now with your dyes, I've got blueberries, I got charcoal, I got wood for the fire, and I got water. Now red berries will give you red dye, yellow berries will give you yellow dye, and if you mix the berries you will get various shades and thus. But so there's our first ones ready, you can see it's blue. Um, now I'm out of water so I'll add a second water jar and make another quick batcher so we got enough to do both George and myself, because, you know, can't be outdone by my Mesopithecus. They're really cool. Um, you carry them around on your shoulder, and just like any of the uh, younger apes do, and the monkeys, um, when you get attacked, they fling their fecal matter at your enemy, and <laughs> it slows the enemy down, I guess, because it's like, oh, God, it's on me, you know, one of those. I don't know, but they are the coolest, neatest little thing. He's my little buddy. So yeah, moving on. Okay, so we got uh, George, we clicked on his hat, and you see how the, the dye is colored it, right? So, too cool there. Uh, pretty easy process. When you click on the dye, it'll highlight anything and everything in your inventory that you can color, quite simply. Now, when you are coloring, you'll see that there's various regions, and of course, they will marry up with various places on whatever article it is you're trying to color. Um, in this case, area one being just the main dome, and just to keep it simple, I'm gonna leave it there. But, you know, you could go around, you could do the neck piece on the back, you could do the sideburns on it, whatever is available as far as the regions go, and your limitations are uh, your designs on color, you know. I use blue because I can see blue. I am uh, what they call color vision two. I have two of the three cones that we use to see full spectrum. Only two of mine fire properly. My third one um, doesn't work right. So I don't see the lower end of the spectrum. I don't get the greens or the reds and stuff like that. Um, interesting little fact, uh, we colorblind people were uh, pardon me, helpful in uh, World War II as pilots and whatnot because we couldn't see green. We would see kind of sort of through it and we could tell that it was camouflage and we would be able to detect the targets underneath. So, yay for the colorblind. So yeah, here we go, various sections like I say, um, you know, whatever you click on is going to get colored. It's, it's pretty basic, simple stuff. And, um, oh, oh, pardon me. So, yeah, clicking on this, clicking on that, do a little blue color over here, a little blue color over there. Uh, like I say, we're just hanging out up here at the Hidden Lake. It's uh, kind of our little getaway. It's a nice little lake. It's got a couple of beaver. And, you know, it's not too hostile. You're in this little kind of a, oh, almost a sinkhole kind of thing with this tiny little lake in it. But, uh, yeah, I'll have to show it to you. It's quite nice, quite pleasant. So anyway, getting back to topic at hand, there we go. We're all pretty much kind of dyed up here and whatnot, looking rather dapper, I must say. And uh, yeah, in a nutshell, that's pretty much it. Um, very simple. So yeah, what else today? How are we all doing at home? I'm hoping that uh, you all are, are safe and uh, you know being sensible, practicing the, the whole social distancing thing, as, as it were. You know, crazy times right now. We are uh, definitely moving into a, a new and different world, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, you got to roll with the punches, eh? Okay, George, here we go, buddy. We'll take that one there, and we will give you a beautiful blue hat. No, not a stick. No, no, there you go. And three, two, one, click. There you go, it's that simple. You just kind of put it in the inventory and there you are. Ain't he just a handsome fellow? He even likes it himself. Ain't he just chilling by the fire here, man. So yeah, peeps, that's going to be it for today. Me and George hanging out and like that. Um, so please do take care. Brightest blessings from me to all of you. And as always, be good to each other, yeah? Okay, bye for now.